let there be light. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. November 1st. Slept at the Walmart parking lot. Pretty decent. It's about 6 in the morning. Drove from Lubbock to Grants, New Mexico. Hit the time warp. 6 o'clock in the morning here, which is actually 7 o'clock in the morning. That's what, hap that's what happens when we hit the time warp. Oh, it's about 40 degrees. We start the car. I love this Goal Zero thing, man. This thing is awesome. Will it start? I just have a feeling my car won't start one day. <laughs> Looks like I'll catch a sunrise behind me if I get on the road right now. The leather in the morning is so cold. I'm gonna have to get a little mini heater for that. Hotel Walmart, we will meet again probably in a couple of days. It's the earliest I've been on the road at 6.45, which is actually 7.45 Texas time. I didn't sleep too well, lots of tossing and turning. I'm approaching Gallup, and there's such a high population of Navajo in this western part of New Mexico so close to the Navajo reservation. The radio commercial was actually in Navajo, which that is what Navajo sounds like if you've never heard Navajo. It's a very, very interesting language. And I actually roommated with somebody in 2015 who spoke Navajo, which was very cool because he was teaching me some words here and there. Like Diné, Diné is like the people of Navajo. That's what they call themselves, Diné. So for breakfast, I'm gonna stop at this place called Blake's. They have gigantic breakfast burritos with green chili on it, which is like a very New Mexico thing. And I had these all the time when I was working here. Two freshly cracked eggs, two applewood smoked bacon, hash browns, shredded cheese, their secret green chili sauce, and a soft flour tortilla, it's delicious. If you ever get a chance to come to New Mexico, try a Blake's breakfast burrito. Probably not the best thing for you, but it's very, it's very specific, I think, to New Mexico. And it's delicious. Driving Flagstaff. This thing is so junky. Like, the switch down there broke and the previous owner screwed on that blue thing. Well, that blue thing broke, and now every time I flick it down, it just freaking laughs at me. It's so annoying. I'm, oh, look at that. That is so cool. There's like a mural of all these animals on the wall and a giant crevice. Very, very cool. It's so cool that you can see, if you like look really close in some of the highways, you'll see some petroglyphs like in the rocks, which are like Native American like paintings or like carvings. Like they banged it with a rock and carved it out or whatever where it's like shapes of people and buffalo and bows and arrows and all this kind of stuff, it's cool. I love these rocks, so different than Florida. Goodbye New Mexico, hello Arizona. On our way to Flag, we're gonna find a Starbucks there and upload yesterday's video. Almost to Flagstaff, 28 miles out. I'm listening to a terrifying bit on NPR about plastics. They're talking about synthetic clothing getting washed. So like your nylons, your polyesters, your acrylics, that wastewater pulling off fibers from the pulling off fibers from the clothing going to a treatment plant getting treated but the fibers are still in the water and the plastics are hormone mimetic which could be linked to girls reaching puberty really really early breast cancers cervical cancers prostate cancers terrifying it's liberally terrifying this is Route 66 into Flagstaff, absolutely gorgeous with tree coverage. A super smooth road, it would be beautiful to ride a bicycle on, and this would be amazing to do Route 66 on a Honda Helix. This looks awesome. Maybe that would be a future adventure. Flag is awesome, it's beautiful. It's like, it's a city plopped down in the middle of a national forest. It's so green. It doesn't even feel like Arizona at all. Only time I've been to Flagstaff was one time last year. It was actually the day of the election. And I took a train from Albuquerque with a bicycle here, started 
the rest of my bike tour going down to Phoenix and then over to San Diego, which that story isn't really covered in vlog, but I did spend one night and it was freezing here. The election coverage, I watched it on my phone streaming from YouTube. That's all I know of, that's all I know of Flagstaff, but I freaking like this city. I just like the feel of it. Everyone looks active. Car toppers are everywhere. And I'm about to go check out a Goodwill. The Flagstaff Goodwill. It's actually a Goodwill bins. It's a way and pay. It's an outlet here and it's awesome. Um, these are vintage Adidas made in Yugoslavia. These are really, really sick. A lot of wear on them, but these are like 80s, maybe 70s. I'm gonna grab these. And I got a pair of Prana pants. They do have burn holes. These will be my beater long pants that I don't care about that I'll skate in and whatnot. And those will be pennies because it's a way and pay. I've seen multiple times in the comments, people say that they're jealous of my van life. Do not be jealous. It's very grody. Right now I'm having lunch. I'm just gonna make some peanut butter and jelly. There's my table and there's my ingredients. Absolutely glorious, living it up. I'm about to go to Anytime Fitness and do a workout. And then I'm gonna go meet my second cousins, which Rachel told me in their culture, they just say aunt and uncle because of the, because of the age gap. The blood nephew and niece-in-law of my grandmother, Toots. I do need to take the trash out of my house. They call it any time, because we can go anytime. Coming in at 168 with shoes, phone, hat, and camera. And I do have a three-day workout plan now. This one is curated by Chris, the Bonafide Hustler. Thank you, bro. This is awesome. Finished the workout by freeloading some water from Anytime Fitness. Great workout. Probably because I had a ton of coffee this morning. I was like jazzed up, getting lightheaded in there. My ears are popping. All the elevation changes. I'm taking 17 from Flagstaff down towards Sedona. It goes from Flagstaff to Phoenix. It's a highway in Arizona. It uh, has Sedona on one side. I'm on my way to my second cousin's house, but in Rachel's family, they consider it an aunt or an uncle because of the age gap. I've never met them before, which will be very cool to spend some time with them. Particularly this route right here, I have ridden on a bicycle again. I rode a vintage 1987 or 1988 Miata 1000 LT. It's a steel frame bicycle that I bought in Santa Fe and then I rode it to Phoenix, but I actually freeloaded a ride halfway through 17. I got picked up by somebody, I put a PHX, I put a PHX cardboard on my back and uh, and somebody stopped, some young kid, I think he was like 18 years old, stopped, threw my bike in his car, took me down to Phoenix. I did give him $10 in gas. He was running out of gas, so I felt bad for him. I do have video of that. One day, that bike tour will get edited. It's the second half of the USA Adventures. I think I'm going to turn it into one production, like one big video and work on it like here and there. And then once it's done, I'll release it. If you want to catch live bike touring or semi live bike touring, because I know the videos are, they're backlogged a little bit, check out Traveling Tice. He's been following me since Japan and he's putting out current, Euro, he's one of them Europeans doing a European cycling tour. So if you've never been to Europe, check out Traveling Tice, super young kid getting his travel on, living the living the dream. Puts out some really cool bike touring videos and he edits them out really well. So I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this video and also in the description. Check out Travel and Tice. Van life, van life, bike life. Super cool, class B. Not a care in the world. Such a beautiful ride. I love Arizona. New Mexico and Arizona are some pretty underrated states. Everyone goes for like Colorado, Utah going off-roading with the Kia. More just like dirt roading, but you get the idea. They got the Japanese doorbell with the camera. <laughs> Super nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, oh there they come. <laughs> There's a renegade. Go on in, they'll follow you back. Come on. Oh my lord. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you know, god. I didn't know you only because of all the... the, the yeah, I, tr I try to... Oh my god. I gotta count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Yes. I didn't get them mixed up. Are any of call it nine and three quarters. Are any of them named Santa's literal helper? No. Uh, <laughs> but I get the Simpsons reference. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, this is so awesome. One yeah, big happy family. This, this one is... This is uh, like the worst. This one's a... Uh, 
photo printer. It does like lab quality photos or dye oh sublimation. I, I'm a printer guy and this is like the most amazing <laughs> printer. Like eBay said, and they're all hooked up to a network and everything. Yeah, so they're, all, just they're all off this Mac this over here. This is phenomenal. So here's the command center. <laughs> this is so awesome. The whole Good. property is under surveillance. Where's the co where's my Kia? Oh, right there. I was going to say, where's it at? What, there the ticking time bomb? Yeah. That's joystick. It's like a game, but that guy has no idea <laughs> right. you're sniping in on him. Wow. And it's all from your property, so I right. guess it's completely fine. Yep. You sleeping back there? <laughs> wow. No joke. <laughs> Neighborhood watch. When I'm, when I'm expecting somebody, I just watch that place down the road, and that gives me about a two-minute warning before somebody's here. Oh, That's I'm, so I'm cool. I'm in the trees now. And it's so responsive. Yep, yep. Wow. And the brownies are... Nope. Those are all. These are all the. Those are all garage sales and gifts from people. Yeah, this is all like camera in forever. <sighs> That's Deb's collection. People and just love collecting cameras because the they look so cool on shelves. Fifteen dollars, you know. Yeah, they look so cool on shelves. It's awesome. And there's that. Uh, That's kind of neat. It's an old Roloflex, so that's. That's actually probably the only one that has real collector's value. There's a guy on YouTube um, that he does so much vintage camera stuff. Mm -hmm. He would probably know every single one of these. Well, and that's like an old, Noah. for film developing, that's like where you can crank the film through to develop oh, wow. the tank. Noah Pardee would love this. Wait a minute. <laughs> the three-legger? Yep. She's super soft and super friendly. Oh my gosh, these dogs she, are she's awesome. She's on the bed, curled up right next to you. That's Sunny, she's 10. She's our newest one, we just adopted. So this is gonna be where I'm freeload, yep. my freeload quarters. You can Absolutely. Have... Alexa, turn on the okay. guest room. Okay. Oh my gosh, I gotta get one of those for my van. In the YouTube world, they would call this a death pile, but it's so organized. <laughs> well, this it, is not the half of it. <laughs> it's so organized. Stuff I've got. Oh, you're already a pro, you're already a stuff. pro thrifter. This is so awesome. What? Bear cats. Trunk. I've sold this exact unit, yep. I think. I've got another uh, radio Did you pick it up, but you don't yep. have the charger for it? Oh, I've got all the stuff for it. Oh, you got all the stuff for it. Yeah, I've sold one of these, I think, on Amazon. I've sold I just picked up. This is the Goodwill haul for, or from today he was yep. showing me. These are sick. These are banging Olsons. I can just feel them. Like, it's a super quality headphone. So I get a USA with a bootleg splash. It looks like a bootleg splash design, which is <laughs> sick. And they also freeloaded me these USA by O'Neill USA colorway board shorts. Cool. I appreciate it. <laughs> Look at this setup. This is so clean and organized. You're probably going to have a fit when you see my van. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's as good as it can be with what I have, mm -hmm. which is... When I shoot photos, I hang a, a, like backdrop? a backdrop here. Oh my I've gosh. got my LED panel light. Because I do photography as well, so I had a lot of this stuff. Packing material, more packing material in the other garage, but this is like the... If you're doing priority in brown box. Streamlight. Yeah. He said he picked this up. It was two bucks in and it's currently at 68. Yeah, on auction, right? Yeah. We're in a garage. <laughs> we got mom's Dyson. We got another Dyson. Yeah, this is like the same one I got for my mom, but. Yeah, vacuums are another thing I flip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of hate for buying that Dyson for $80, but I was looking for so long and I hadn't found one. And Goodwill seems to have has a little internal memo. You don't find a Dyson under 79 anymore. Yeah. Everything is 79, 79. Wow. And we got a teardrop trailer. Like, yeah, this is. by Tab. This is it's like when Ikea met Airstream. Speaking of Hewlett Packard, <laughs> he's got two tubs full of vintage calculators. This is super sick. 18C business. Things I've never even seen before. Just uh, money, fun stuff, <laughs> history of electronics. Well, and some of the more obscure things. This is an electronic ruler. It has a measuring wheel. You power it up, and as you roll it along, it counts oh the gosh. inches or millimeters or centimeters. So cool. It's old tech. Millimeters, centimeters, meters, off, That's Panasonic. Awesome. They were always ahead of their time with stuff. They got a garden. Yeah, it's looking a little shabby right now. It's end of season, but like this is Chicken all coop. I've given it a haircut for the season and it'll come back up. Wintertime, I can put clear plastic over these guys and- uh, I smell it. It's definitely mint. Months ago, November 1st was when they were supposed to be laying. Oh, wow. And two Oops. weeks ago, two weeks ago, that is a They real... started crowing. I have two roosters. Oh no. Did you have to get rid of them? Or... They're still here, but... Uh, they're separated? No, I don't mind that they're in with them right now because if I can get fertile eggs and get some chicks in the spring, it'll be great. But the one starts about 3.30 in the morning, still in the box in the oh, dark, crowing. crowing. So I think he is gonna have to go and become a roosticery chicken. <laughs> are you gonna do, are you, do you guys do that yourselves? I, I will do it. I, I don't them a few times and when he sees me is very low. Are you getting the orange ones or the I grabbed ones? an orange one, I popped it, yeah, and I'm the gonna try to rip are super sweet. This is last harvest 
this Friday. Oh I have. Oh, it's so good. There's probably enough of them here to share with all my subscribers because I only have compost, squash, chicken coop. I forget what this one was. Artichoke. Artichoke. I kept thinking avocado. Basil, or if you're in Australia, it's basil. I don't know what tarragon is. So the end of the season now, this is sweet potato. You plant one sweet potato, one sweet potato, cut it in like two or three pieces. So it's whatever. And you put one in the ground in each one of these pots. And at the end of the season, I'll drop this into a wheelbarrow and I'll, between the three pots, I'll probably have 15 to 18 pounds of sweet potatoes. Wow. They are absolutely no work. They get a little drip irrigation and the stuff grows and they're just crazy. Wow. I might have to consult you for some of my uh, property engineering whenever I, Whenever I get a house. Organic eggs, pickling cucumbers. We put up several quarts of uh, pickles this year. Deb did bread and butter pickles and dills. They took the seats out, got the roof racks, and four dogs can comfortably fit in here with some storage underneath. They built this platform right here. It's very cool. Just got done with dinner. They actually took me out to a Japanese restaurant. We love Japan, it's actually really good. Nick and Deb are absolutely awesome. So glad I'm able to meet them and connect with this part of the family, the Huns that are part of the family that I don't really know. I'm looking forward to hanging out with them again tomorrow. And I do appreciate them letting me stay here, taking care of me, letting me freeload. If everyone hasn't already, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them. I'll talk to everybody in the morning. We, I think we're going thrifting. And I'm going to leave you guys with a feeding of the dog sequence, which was absolutely insane. Bye. Getting fed. Oh. Where's it going? <laughs> there you go, sir. Oh, so it's... So these three go here because these, this one eats fast and we don't want her to steal somebody else's food. That one eats slow, so we don't want her to oh. eat fast. He's cool, he just got the third dog. Now Deb's taking two over to this bowl. She took one down the hall to stop that one from making a yeah, lot of noise. Okay. okay, so this is all organic food. All organic. This is fresh, fresh ground chicken with some organic pumpkin. Whoa. And now, Trito gets hers. I thought it was going to be a feeding frenzy. <laughs> it's very organized. It is. It's, it's just separate. There's a, there's a whole method to the madness. Now, Mr. Ward gets his. There you so go. So excited. And then that. And that one's done. finished. Right. Wow. It, it only takes like three minutes start to finish for everybody. Mary's finishing up over there. Dinner was served. Susie and I here over here. <laughs> wow. This will be repeated again in the morning before we go, so you'll have a, a second chance for capture.